Do you often find yourself trying really, really hard not to worry, not to feel anxious, not to negatively anticipate? And this can happen before a social experience, before a meeting, before an interview, before a presentation, or it can happen during while you're actually speaking, you're trying not to think of something and not to feel something. Does this ever happen to you? Do you see yourself as, or are you a perfectionist? Are you really hard on yourself? Do you beat yourself up? Do you criticize yourself a lot? If so, this video is going to be perfect for you. My name is Michael Williams, and today I'm going to share with you two laws, two very powerful laws that you can begin to apply immediately to help you overcome perfectionism, self-criticism, to become calmer, more relaxed, and more confident, not only while you're speaking, but also leading up to whatever that speaking situation is. So let's jump right into it. And the first law is called the law of relaxation. The law of relaxation. Now, what does this law say? Well, this law says, essentially, that in all mental workings, effort defeats itself. In all mental workings, effort defeats itself. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means that when you and I try really hard mentally to not do something, to not focus on something, to try to force something to happen. That is a, a new thought pattern, a new habit, or we're trying to change how we're feeling in the moment. So let's just say, let me just give you an example. You have a meeting and they're going around the room and you have to introduce yourself and your heart starts pumping. Right? This actually happened to a client of mine the other day and it's happened to me before too. Your heart is pounding and you start to worry about, oh, am I going to be able to introduce myself? Am I going to be able to say the first words? So you're thinking about that. Your heart is pounding. You can almost hear your heartbeats in your ear. You can feel it. So you're, you're trying not to think about those things. You're trying not to feel those things. Well, the law of relaxation says that the harder you try to make that not happen, the more likely it will happen. Carl Jung said, what you resist not only persists, but grows in size. So the more you focus on and you kind of fight and you try not to think and feel that way, the more anxious you become, the more nervous you become, the less creative you're able to be, the more cloudy your thinking becomes, and the more likely it is that you will get the results that you don't want. It's kind of like a self-fulfilling prophecy. So this law of relaxation is very, very important because it's one of the keys to helping you learn how to think, feel, and speak more clearly, more calmly, and more confidently. So let's talk about a few of the things that you can do to help you to get to the place where you're not fighting your thoughts and fighting your emotions. So I just want to share with you a few very, very specific steps, or maybe we won't call them steps, but just actions that you can take. So one action is for you to remember to pause and breathe. Now, why is this important? When you pause, you slow everything down. When you breathe, you give your brain more oxygen, you give your body more oxygen, you're able to think more clearly. So it's very important that you pause, and that you breathe, that you breathe more fully and more frequently. Let me give you an example. Many, many years ago, I was at a conference, and at that time I was already a teacher, I was a preacher, a speaker, I was even a coach. And I raised my hand on purpose to ask a question or to make a comment. Why? Because at that time, I was doing a lot of full-time coaching and it was online. So any time that I had a chance to actually get out and talk in front of a large group of people, I would take advantage of that opportunity. So I raised my hand. As soon as I thought 
about making that comment, my heart started pounding. Just me thinking about it. So what did I do? Started taking deeper breaths and more frequent breaths. And my heart kept pounding, probably slowed down a little, but it kept pounding. So when they brought the mic over to me and I stood up, I did the second thing is I started super slow. So I breathed. I paused in between my sentences, sometimes my words, and I started super slow. What does this do? When you start super slow, you have more control. You start feeling a bit calmer and more relaxed. I also used introductory words if I needed to. I felt like I needed to, to say so or well or okay or thank you. Then I did that. And so this will bring us to our second law, which is the law of flexibility and fluidity. The law of flexibility and fluidity. The law of flexibility says, be very clear about your goal, about what you want, where you want to go. Be as clear as you can, but be flexible in how you get there. Be adaptive, right? Your ability to be adaptive and to adapt to situations and circumstances, some of which you have no control over, will be the key to your success. Now, the second part of this law is the law of fluidity. And let me explain what I mean by this. Oftentimes, people will back themselves into a corner and they'll say, I have to say this right now and I have to say it this way. I can't say it any other way. For example, your name or when you're introducing yourself, what you, what you specialize in or what your area of expertise is or where you work. So there's something that people believe that they have to say in a certain way and they can't add anything in front of it. They can't change it around. They have to say it just like that. Well, that's an inflexible or rigid mindset. And when you don't have any options, and we're going to talk about this, when you don't feel like you have any options or choices, you actually become more anxious, more nervous, less relaxed, less calm, less clear, less smooth, less efficient. So it's very important that you give yourself options, that you're adaptable, that you are flexible, that you're fluid. And you say, hey, no, wait a minute. I have multiple ways that I can introduce myself. And I'm going to give you at least one or two examples here. Uh, in fact, I'm, I'm going to give you at least two. Years ago, I got a job working on the telephone, answering the telephone. I used to hate answering the telephone because I had a hard time saying hello. So in the training, uh, we had to say, hello, this is Michael Williams. Thank you for calling USAA Insurance Company, blah, blah, blah. And I was, so I asked the trainer, I said, hey, listen, I'm having a hard time saying hello. Sometimes I get a little stuck. I used to stutter really bad. Now, obviously, you can see that I don't. But sometimes I still get stuck, especially on the phone. Is it okay if I say Yes, hello. She said, I don't see any problem with that. Sure, Michael, go ahead. So I started saying, yes, hello. Magically, I was able to answer the phone with no problems. Every single time, smoothly. Yes, hello. Yes, hello. Yes, hello. What's the point here? I had a flexible mindset. I said, how else can I say hello? So I didn't change the word hello. In my mind, I kind of did, right? I'll tell you. What I mean by that, but I still said hello. I just added yes to it and made sure that I blended those words together. So I made sure that I gave myself options. That one option allowed me to go from struggling, <clears throat> pushing, and not being able to answer the phone smoothly to being able to answer the phone smoothly every single time. So be flexible in your options. Remember this the more options you have, the freer you feel, the more relaxed you feel, the clearer you're able to think, the more efficient and effective you are. The more options you give yourself, the more choices you believe you have, the freer you're going to feel, the more relaxed you're going to feel, the more in control you're going to feel. So if you don't give yourself options, you're going to feel like you're out of control. It's something that you can't control. You're stuck. You're going to get stuck. You're going to be worried about, I'm going to block not going to be able to do this. And that's probably what is going to happen. But when you feel like you have options, you actually feel more relaxed. 
I'm going to give you two more examples. One example where I thought I didn't have any options, and because of that, I got stuck. So I was the first lieutenant. I was a platoon leader, and we were going through a training module, and I had to call my platoon to attention. So I had to go up in front. There's a whole bunch of different platoons. So everybody's there watching. So I have my platoon go up to the front, and I couldn't say attention. I couldn't call them to attention. Just got stuck. So I had to call my platoon sergeant up and it's like, can you go ahead and call them to attention? I'll explain to you why. So then I left, called them to attention. Really embarrassing moment. Uh, either later that day or the next day, I explained, hey, guys, sometimes I get a little stuck. I used to stutter real bad. Now it's just certain times, certain places. And that's what happened. Uh, but what I did is I said to myself, how else can I say attention? I have to say attention. Now, this is the military. This is a command. You have to say that command. You can't add any words in front of it. And maybe I could have added something silent, but you really can't do that there. So if there were ever a situation where you felt like you had no options, this would be it. But guess what? I found an option. I simply changed the way I said hello. Sorry. I changed the way I said attention. So instead of saying attention, I said, oh, attention. I said, oh, added something. People do that all the time. So I just kind of added a little something to how I said attention, kind of changed that first letter. And after I did that, I never had problems again calling my platoon to attention. So what's the point? Well, the point is, there's always a way. There's always something else that you can do to give yourself options and choices. So you have to have this flexible mindset. Now, what about this law of fluidity? Well, I want you to think about your speech like water that flows. Unless water is dammed up, it's going to flow, right? And so if there's an object in front of it, call it a block, there's an object in front of it, it's going to go around it, it's going to go over it, it might go under it. In some cases, it'll keep hitting it and it'll go through. In our case, we want to think about um, how you can flow around or over, right, or under. Often you'll see it hit that object, come back, and then come back at it again in a different way. Think about your speech in the same way. Visualize, imagine your sound waves, the speech waves, if you will, the sound waves, flowing from your mouth see the words flowing right in like a wave and when you feel like this isn't going to come out as smoothly as i would like look at the different options think about the different ways that you can say it what sound can you put in front of it? what other word or words can you put in front of it can you blend with those words so that you can say it how can you turn it around and say it in a different way, but still communicate the message, the content, the idea that you want to. When you think in a more fluid manner, in a more fluid and flexible manner, you take, now listen to this, this is very, very important, you take the pressure off yourself. And when you take the pressure off yourself, and you stop being a perfectionist and criticize, oh shoot, I wasn't able to say this, that sucks. I should be able to say it. Why can't I say it? Everybody else can say it. Or I needed to be able to say it just like this and I can't and I, I've got to. When you stop doing that and say, wait a minute, there's different ways I can say this. And I'm going to look and I'm going to think about the different options and ways that I can say this. And as a result, you will find a way that you can say what you want to say, like hello or introduce yourself. Yes, it's great to be here. My name is Michael Williams. Whatever it is that you need to say, oh, yeah, sure. you can find a way to say it if you have a flexible and fluid mindset. Now, strategically and long term, what this does is it helps you create more success. So in Pro 90D, there are certain activities that you will do and practice every day that improves the way you speak. We have proactive speaking skills. We have model. We have breathing, of course. All of these things, along with changing your mindset, literally helps you improve your speech. So we're not just saying use these tricks and tips to kind of work your way around saying what you want to say. But no, these things 
open up your mind, helps you to, to feel freer, to feel like you're like you have more control, to help you feel calmer and more confident in your ability to say what you want, so that you're able to develop more of a flow with your speech, right? Your speech is more fluid. So the more success you experience speaking smoothly, the more success you'll have. Nothing succeeds like success. Nothing succeeds like success. So the more success you have speaking, the more success you will have speaking because your brain takes the attention off of, I can't say this, I can't say this, I can't answer the phone, I can't call them to attention, I can't, I can't do, I can't introduce myself, right? So the more you think that, the more you try to force yourself not to think that, the, the harder it becomes, the more pressure you put on yourself, the more it becomes that self-fulfilling prophecy. The more, the less attention you put on that, and the more you think about your options, the freer you feel, the more likely you'll be able to say what you want to say. And therefore, your brain now has these successful speaking experiences to go back and say, oh, we were able to say hello. We were able to introduce ourselves. We were able to call up to, to attention, right? And when it does that, it says, okay, just, this is cool. We can do this. And once it takes the attention off, then you'll find that there, there are times when you're not thinking about your speech. You're not thinking about saying that thing. And you just say hello, or you say whatever it is that you want to say. You say your name. You don't have to use introductory words or sounds. But if you do think about it, you're still relaxed. You're not worried about it. You just put that word or put that sound in front of it. It's perfectly okay, right? But if you have an inflexible mindset, like I shouldn't have to do that. Why do I have to do that? I want to be able to just do this. What you're doing is you're backing yourself into a corner and you're creating unnecessary pressure, and it's actually gonna cause the opposite to happen. Like You wanna to get to the place where you can say what you want, when you want, the way you want. Well, this is how, this is how. So here's the thing, when we talk about these two laws, the other law was the law of flexibility, right? Flexibility and fluidity. Fluidity, fluidity, what we're saying is that the more relaxed you are, the more you kind of stop resisting and stop mentally forcing something to happen, the more flexible and fluid you're able to become, right? Because you're more relaxed, you can think more creatively, right? You can expand your options. And the more flexible you are, the more fluid you are, the more options you see, the more in control you feel, the more relaxed you feel, the calmer you feel, the more relaxed you're going to feel. So the more relaxed you are, the more flexible you're able to be. The more flexible you are, the more relaxed you're going to be. So they both kind of work together, right? So here's an exercise or a mental activity that you can use on a regular basis, if you have something coming up like a social event, a meeting, uh, anything that's causing you angst, anything where you're feeling a bit anxious or nervous, think about your options. Develop some options as to how you can say what you want to say. Here's another example. I was at that same retreat and they were going around the group and they said, okay, you have to say this and then this. So a certain, a certain word or words you had to say. And then you had to add your own thing to it, your own thought to it. It was kind of like a game. And immediately I thought in my mind, wow, I feel like I might not be able to say that. So then immediately thereafter, I said, what are some options? How else can I say that? It doesn't matter if everyone else is just saying that word and then saying whatever. I can add a little word to it or a sound to it. What are some words I can add? To it? So I said, okay, you can say this first and then say that word. So when it came to my turn, uh, I wasn't able to say the word, but I was able to say another word even before I said the other word, before I said the word that I was supposed to say. So I had two options. I had the word that I could say immediately. Then I had another word that I wanted to put in front of it. 
And then I had something else that I put in front of that. So I didn't feel like I was backed into a corner. So again, when it came time for me to say what I wanted to say, and I, I just initially felt like, oh, that's not going to come out. Let me try this. Ooh, that didn't come out. Let me just add this. And I was able to say the whole thing. This happened very, very, very quickly. No one noticed. I barely noticed. It was just like boom, boom, boom. And I said it. So you have to give yourself options. Never back yourself into a corner. Never feel like I have to say it just like this. Because if you do, you're going to build up more tension, more resistance, more anxiousness, more nervousness. And then you're going to get stuck. You're not going to be able to say what you want to say. But when you feel like I can say it this way, I can say it that way, I can say it this way. And then when it's your turn, you might just not have to say any of the other stuff. You might just be able to say the word or say the name, right? And this is what I've experienced for decades after decades after decades and helping thousands and thousands of people. If you have this mindset, because it's a mindset, if you have the flexible and fluid mindset, it releases a lot of pressure and it helps you build momentum and create more and more success. If you remember this law of relaxation and in the moment, you don't try to force yourself to not feel something, to not think something, but you take over the behaviors and activities that you can in that moment, you can breathe more, you can breathe deeper, you can slow your speech down, you can use introductory words and sounds, right? You can focus on certain, you can begin to focus your thoughts on an affirmation or on the value that you want to give, or you can be more present. You can keep shifting your thoughts in that direction. And what that will do is eventually change how you're feeling emotionally and change how you're feeling physically. But if you try to go in directly and change those things directly, you're going to you're going to fail, right? You're going to fail. So hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, in another part, we're going to talk about the law of expectations. Sometimes people set unrealistic expectations. And then when they go unfulfilled, they become frustrated. They become discouraged. Some people become just depressed. Often people can just give up. So we don't want to do that. So we'll talk about that in another video. But in this video, I want you to walk away with at least a couple of things. The law of relaxation in all mental workings, effort defeats itself. When you try to force yourself to not think something or to think this over here, that usually doesn't work. That kind of resistance causes that thought or that feeling to persist and even grow. And then remember the law of flexibility and fluidity, which says <clears throat> that be clear about where you want to go. Hey, I want to speak smoothly. Hey, I want to be able to say this. But be flexible in how you get there. Hey, I can say it this way. I can say it that way. I can say it this way. Remember to look at your speech like water. Water will find its way. It will find its way to its goal. It will find its way to be able to flow, right? So you have to look and say, hey, if it doesn't happen this way. It'll happen that way. If it doesn't happen that way. It'll happen this way. If it doesn't happen this way. It'll happen that way. So allow yourself to flow, and what you'll do is you'll experience more and more success, and that's what your brain uses to predict your future experiences, to predict future performance. It goes back and it says, how did we perform there? Great, we were able to say it. So what? We had to add a word. No problem. We still said it, and we said it smoothly. Then we'll be able to say it smoothly in the future. Keep these things in mind, and I look forward to seeing you. In one of our live sessions, in fact, the recording of this video, uh, which is on Tuesday, the 13th of August, we're going to be having a live session on the 14th of August, and it'll be interactive. We're going to talk about this and answer your questions. So I'm actually going to be getting this video out to you now, and then we're going to answer your questions about this topic and your experiences and some strategies that you can use. Okay, so go back, watch this video. Look forward to seeing you in our session tomorrow.